Now at 530, imagine an indie style race, but there are no race car drivers <laughs> behind the wheel. Oh, the future is here. That's what <laughs> happened recently in Las Vegas. Fully autonomous vehicles made their own decisions. And as CBS 4's Laura Podesta shows us, the race is on to bring self-driving cars to the road around the outside. This recent race in Las Vegas featured indie style cars, but there were no race car drivers. The fully autonomous vehicles make their own decisions, like when to pass. Approaching 170. Automakers are trying to bring the technology on display on this track to the road. We're definitely finally getting closer to having self-driving cars. Tim Stevens with CNET's Roadshow says many new cars have level two autonomous functions, including lane keeping assist. When you step up to level three, that's when things start to get interesting. Last year, Honda introduced a vehicle that changes lanes on its own. And in a traffic jam, the driver can take their eyes off the road. GM's Super Cruise lets drivers go hands-free in certain conditions. Next year, the company will release Ultra Cruise, which promises hands-free driving in 95% of conditions. Waymo is taking the technology a step further. Heading to shopping mall. The company is now offering driverless cab rides in Phoenix, but the cars can't operate alone in inclement weather that may interfere with sensors. Full autonomy is just a concept at this point. Automakers envision a future where vehicles won't need any human involvement, but Steven says first it'll require better sensors. That gives these cars the ability to detect with millimetric precision every obstacle that's around them and find a safe path through it. Companies are now testing advanced 3D LiDAR systems with that capability, racing to bring self-driving cars a step closer to reality. Laura Podesta, CBS News, New York. So soon, no need to get a driver's license. Mercedes and Volvo are expected to release vehicles with level three technology later this year.